Constantine, the amazing show that was on NBC last year that got canceled after 13 episodes to the chagrin of all the fans of the show. Mostly me. I, I was very upset when they canceled that show. If you go back through what we've talked, we've probably had like 10 videos on Constantine, at least one or two why they shouldn't cancel the Constantine, but they did it anyway. Why don't they listen to me? I don't know. They should. But yeah, so Constantine is coming back. Not in the way we had hoped. He's not returning to his, his show, but he is uh, returning and to the, the small screen, and he will be appearing in a single episode of Arrow next year for Arrow Season 4. What episode? So, yeah, well, we don't know quite yet, but apparently this was all done through a social media campaign on Facebook or something like that. I, I don't know exactly where, but a lot of people were like, yeah, we'd love to see Constantine on Arrow. So what did the producers do? They said, hey, we'd like to see Constantine on Arrow too. Let's do it. So it, Matt Ryan, the original Constantine actor from the NBC show, is actually reprising his role as John Constantine as well. And we'll have some circumstance where the two run into each other. Now, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen season three, I'm about to spoil some things. Apparently Black Canary dies. And um, they might be bringing Constantine in to resurrect her. Now, how do I know she's going to be resurrected? Because if you've seen the commercial, the, the trailer for Legends of Tomorrow... Next spinoff of Arrow, you see Canary is alive, and now she's wearing a white outfit instead of a black outfit. So hmm. it's pretty sure that that's what they're going to do. They're going to bring her back from the dead somehow. And who's better to bring back somebody from the dead than their than well, I guess Doctor Strange, but in the DC universe, it'd be John Constantine. No, he's the best actually. Sandman. Sandman, he does that. I don't know if he ever brings someone back to the de from the dead, but he does hang around with death, and he does go into hell and get his own stuff back from the from hell, hmm. in pretty fun ways. So, and we are seeing a Sandman movie sometime soon. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt apparently is spearheading that project. Not sure when, but we will. It should be pretty cool too. Um, so, I think that it's awesome that we are going to be see Constantine come back. Uh, he was such a funny, great character. I love the show. I love the actors in the show. It was only getting better. They kind of left you on a cliffhanger. They're like, all right, we're going to ramp it up and make you really care. And then, oh, you can't watch it anymore. Great for you. It's like, oh, thanks, guys. But how awesome would it be is if this spun into Constantine being resurrected on the WB? I would thoroughly enjoy seeing that. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the WB, but they seem to be doing some pretty cool things with their superhero TV shows. Uh, Arrow was really cool. Flash apparently is pretty cool. I haven't really gotten into that too much. Legends of Tomorrow looks very, very interesting. And then you can go back and you have the, the ilk of like Smallville and stuff like that. Supernatural, you could say that's almost like a comic books type show. And they do very well with that. So I mean, It would be very akin to, to a Constantine-like show in many ways. So. Yeah. Yeah, and so I would not be disappointed if WB was like, hey, you know what? This might be good for us. Uh, this is the type of formula that's been working on our network the past couple of years. So, hey, let's let's give it a try. And they've already got the actors established, especially if they bring back Matt Ryan, who played Constantine spectacularly, if you ask me. So that'd be really cool. And if we're not going to get any iteration of Constantine in, let's say, like the DC movie universe which won't happen unless Guillermo del Toro gets his way and gets a Justice League dark movie, which just doesn't look too likely, unfortunately. Um, I still want Constantine on the scene. He's a very cool character. He's, he's just that, that anti-hero that we all, we all love. Because he does some good things. He does some crazy bad things, too. Like trying to trade one girl's soul to another devil or releasing demons to fight demons and then demons getting out of hand. Yeah, he just does some things that kind of backfire. He's kind of a trickster. Story, he is kind of a trickster. He's kind of a, you know, he's a con man. That's what he does, you know, and uh, happens to know magic. So I would love to see that. But I think it would be really cool to mix him into the Arrow universe just because Arrow has just set themselves up so well. Um, the first two seasons, I, I watched those on Netflix. I think season three is coming out pretty soon. So I will be catching up relatively shortly. Um, just they, they just do it, do it so well. And it would be really cool to see that character in that type of setting and maybe possibly getting his own thing. The only thing I hope they don't do with Arrow, I mean, I'm sorry, with Constantine, that they've done with Arrow and they've done with Flash, is introduce that unnecessary love interest in the show and focus it a lot more than they should on that love said love interest. Mm. 
Because, I mean, yeah, you do want to have a love interest. Don't get me wrong. That is a, a good plot motive uh, mover. But think about Batman. He's had his love interest for here and there. But it'd be like, you know, maybe he'll flirt with Selena Kyle one minute. And who's the other? Vicky Vale was for like 20 seconds, it felt like. And that's I mean, he it. usually plays up his persona as the, as the mil- billionaire playboy anyway. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't even need a particular love interest because he's dedicated to being the Batman. Yeah, and like Superman has Lois Lane, yeah, but she's not a very big character. No, she's she's huge. She's a big focus for him. Nah, mm-mm, not gonna go for it. I think that mm-hmm. I think the Superman Lois Lane stuff makes the most sense though. Like of all the superheroes, if you were going to focus on a love interest, I think that one makes the most sense. Yeah, but we don't need that in like, like, like Mary Jane, uh, like Spider-Man. an arrow, like uh, the main uh, Oliver Queen is getting with his like secretary slash computer genius Felicity Smoke or something mm-hmm. like that. Who was a really cool character in the first two seasons. I just don't think he needs to go any further than that. It's like she's a sidekick. You really shouldn't. shouldn't yeah, upset and and I don't know enough about Constantine, but he just doesn't seem like a character. He that does needs have a love, a, interest, a love interest. I want to say somewhere in the comics. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't seem like anything would work out with him, though. Yeah, exactly. And so if you want to introduce it to make him a tragic character, maybe introduce it for like a three-episode arc where he meets a girl, falls in love, and then she dies or something happens. He gets possessed by demons or something. Yeah, 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 which makes sense. That would be pretty cool, too. So you could throw that in there. Yeah, a love uh, story does help move the plot. It does add good drama to a plot, but I don't think it should be the backbone of any superhero show, which... Not saying that WB does that with their shows, but they definitely make it a very strong presence in their show. And, you know, it's not quite necessary. I guess they're trying to reach out to women a little bit more, provide a little more drama. And I don't know. I don't know why. I think women like superheroes, too. Everybody likes superheroes. Who doesn't like superheroes? That guy. I I don't. I hate them. Them them personally. Personally. Met some. They're jerks. <laughs> Not a big fan of the superheroes. <laughs> but yeah. Look, they took my parking spot. Like, I was clearly had my signal on and superhero like, took my parking fly. spot. You don't need to take my spot, man. I, mean, I don't even know if they had the flying power or not. They did need to take my parking <laughs> spot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. It's rude. I don't care if the building was on fire. <laughs> you could park on the fire lane, okay? That's I can't. I Inherently. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so but let us know what you think. Are you excited to see Constantine return, even if it is only for an episode? Uh, or and would you like to see WB repick up the show? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at words from my face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways getting hold of us. But let's.